I'm going to go ahead and update the firmware of the Crucial Songs tape drive via the UFI BIOS. However, within Windows, I can have a look at the song and state drive. So if I go to Device Manager and expand disk drive, select the crucial song and state drive and select the hardware IDs. I see the hardware ID ends in MU03, so I know that's the firmware of the song and state drive. So if I go and search for crucial firmware updates, I'll be taken to their website. Now they have a drop down at the top which doesn't seem to function, so I'll just press Ctrl and S and type in M500 and download the firmware update for that. So I'll extract it and it's as a disk image file. So I'm going to go ahead and download Rufus and I'm going to use Rufus to make a bootable USB. So if I launch Rufus and then select the crucial solid state drive firmware update, I'll see that I can only have it in MDR. So if I click start and then OK, I can go ahead and make this bootable USB. So in order to boot from it, I'll need to shut down my PC and I'll need to change some settings in the UFI by setup. So I'll power up my Dell and press F2 and this will take me to UFI BIOS setup. I need to get to secure boot and I need to change secure boot enabled to disabled and I also need to enable legacy ROMs. So this is in the advanced boot options. So I can select apply and then OK. and now I can exit. So now my Dell should restart and I'm going to tap F12 to get to the boot menu. And now I should see under Legacy Boot the USB storage device. So this USB will boot and it will search for any compatible crucial solid state drives in the system. And if it finds one, it will go ahead and update the firmware automatically. So it will say downloading, and it may take some time to do this. And once it's done, it will tell you that the firmware update was successful. So you'll just need to power off your machine then and power it back up. And press F2 to enter the UFI by setup again. So now we basically want to undo the changes we've done before. So we want to disable the legacy ROMs and we want to re-enable secure boot. Okay, so we can select apply and then OK and then exit. And uh, we should boot into Windows as normal now. So let's just sign in. And we want to check if the firmware has updated. So we can right click the Start button and go to Device Manager again. And we can have a look at the crucial solid state drive. So let's right click it and select properties and let's select details and have a look at the hardware IDs. And now you see it ends in MU05 so the firmware has successfully been updated.